Good morning, everybody. Hello, 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 and welcome to Sharice Johnson Moore's podcast. Well, it's been a while since we have talked, right? So, today's topic on Let's Talk Sunday will be unexpected blessings. We're going to talk about unexpected blessings today on Let's Talk Sunday. Okay? So, sit back, relax, and enjoy your time that you get to spend to relax and enjoy it. Okay? Uh, I want to say good morning to all of my my family and friends that listen in other different countries, you know, that take out their time to support this podcast. And I want to say, you know, that I greatly appreciate you. I greatly appreciate you because you have done so many things in this in this world to take out your time to listen to me. I want to thank my friends in Ireland, Nigeria, Germany, India, Singapore, Ghana, Gambia, United Kingdom, Canada, and the Philippines. Okay? So, thank you for being in my family, everyone. I greatly appreciate it. And let's get into Let's Talk Sunday. Topic today is unexpected blessings. everybody it is that time for let's talk sunday topic for today is unexpected blessings unexpected blessings i'm going to take a page out of my own book today and i want you to look over your life and see what unexpected blessings god has given you and Dwell on that for a minute. Dwell on all the things that you didn't think that were going to come through for you when you ask God for them. When you ask God for them. Like, I'll say, I'll take this example. (laughs) Well, me and my, I'm a mother, and... I was not a good mother. I was not a good mother to my children. And I can I can admit it, I can admit and say that. I can take responsibility and own my own stuff. Okay? So and um I was a drug addict. I was a prostitute. I was a stripper. I used to be, used to be all those things, used to be. A con artist, a swindler, a shyster, all that good, you know, that, that stuff that that we think we're doing something good, but really it ain't. We're just being detrimental to our own good. And with that being said, I did not take care of my kids like I was supposed to. And the thing is, is that... Now that I've gotten older, more mature with my thinking, you know, well, I've come, uh, God has delivered me from all that. God has delivered me from all that wayward sin, that sin that I was committing. He delivered me. And me and my oldest son, we did not get along because I was not there for him. I was not there to comfort him. I was not there to uh, show him the way of how to be a man and how to uh, live in this world as a black man, a black young boy, a black man. And the thing is, is that at first when I saw his behavior being, you know, he out here running the street. That's when he was younger. He was out running the street and doing all kinds of drugs and things like that, not going to school, not getting an education. And now he's a totally different person. He's a totally different. He's grown up tremendously. And I want to give him his props because he's had to learn a lot of stuff in the streets on his own. 
and now I can say my son owns my son owns two businesses. My son has uh you know, he's a financial consultant and he's in the music business and he is doing very well for himself. I can say that. Because now we have a rapport. Well, I had to come and finally say I was sorry for not being there for him. I was sorry for not being his mother. I was sorry for not protecting him the way mothers should protect their child. I was not there for him during his childhood to lead him and guide him in the way that he should go. I left that responsibility on my grandmother, which was already in her 70s, in her in her 60s, 70s, 80s, when they came along. She she was up there in age. And I didn't and I and I held a grudge a long time that she had took the children from me, but that was an unexpected blessing. Because God knew what what needed to be done. God knew what needed to be done in their lives to make them have a better life. I used to hold a grudge against her because she took custody of my kids, but the thing is, that was an unexpected blessing. Because, because, (laughs) so that sometimes we think. That when people do stuff to us, that they're hurting us. But God has laid it in their hearts to uh, be a blessing to us. And I didn't realize that for a long time what a blessing she was. I didn't realize that till after she passed away. Because my grandmother raised me from a child when my parents didn't want to do the same for me. And sometimes it be like that. You know? But God did, God placed it in her heart to take care of me and then take care of my children as well. And I thank her for that. And my thing is, is that what unexpected blessings were you given? Now my son, me and him on a good rapport, we in a good place, we could talk more, we have good communication, and I listen. I don't just, after we, after I had that apology with him to, to apologize for all those things, our relationship changed tremendously. Uh, our relationship changed for the better after I apologized like that. Have you ever had to apologize to your children? Apologize to them for something you had said or done to them that, you know, it, it hurt their feelings, but you didn't realize you hurt their feelings at the time. But God has blessed you with another day. God has blessed you with that unexpected blessing of forgiveness. That's another thing. Unexpected blessings come with forgiveness. You know, he's like, you know, after we had that talk and we started talking more, and he was like, Mama, you know, um, I understand. I know we can't change the past, but we can have a better future. And I was like, okay, you know. And we we been we been like bosom buddies. We call we call every day. We talk every day. We talk. He talked to me about any subject. He always asking me now for advice about when it comes to uh, uh, having relationships and business relationships and things like that. And I'm so happy. I'm happy. I'm I'm so happy that he's gotten himself together, and I'm proud of him for the person he has become. And Unexpected blessings came with, Mom, I want you to come visit me. I want you to come spend time with me. Okay, where, where are we going? I'm in Vegas. Okay, well, let's make plans for this trip. Okay, plans made. This is now. This is time now. Time now. Time now I'm talking about. And, all right, okay, we made plans for July. And then an unexpected, another unexpected blessing was, Mama, I need you to come watch my house for me while I'm going to take care of some business. See, these are the things that you don't see coming, but God see them coming. Well, Mama, you don't have to worry about nothing. Just come. I got your ticket. I got whatever you, whatever you need, whatever you want. You know, 
you know, I, I, I just wanna, I just wanna spend time with my mama. And that was the one thing that I would never thought I thought I'd never hear from my, my child, from my children. You know, and the thing is, is I'm gonna talk to the children now. So, in essence, look at all the things that your parents have done for you. Look at all the things that your parents have brought you through or brought you over or talked with you about and you sought wisdom from them. And it is very important that children understand where your parents are coming from because they've already been where you're at. We used to be children at one time. We done some dumb stuff when we was kids, and, you know, and then, you know, you don't, you don't want to listen to your parents at the time, and then they come back, then you come back to your parents and say, oh, I wish I had to listen. Because I've done that plenty of times, my grandma and my dad. You know, and the thing is, is that it's good to take advice from your parents. It's good to take advice from your parents, whether you're older now and they're still living, or you're younger and they're living, and, you know, appreciate that. Appreciate your unexpected blessing. God has placed people in your life that you didn't think that were going to be a blessing. But they're a blessing. Look at everything around you. If your children, if you are children and you listen to this broadcast, look at all the things your parents do. They work every day. They go to work every day. They they keep a job. They keep they, they keep food and shelter and clothing on you. They keep you covered. That's a covering God has blessed you with. God's kept you this long for a reason. So, and then when you get older, you know, you, you, you grow up and you can take care of your parents. Like they take, took care of you when you was growing up. You know, and, and that's a thing. Well, you know, well, I appreciate it, honey. I appreciate that. Appreciate everything. Appreciate everything that your parents have done for you. Appreciate, you know, and parents, just keep showing them what life is about, and they'll see. They'll see what an unexpected blessing you were, or are, or still is. You know, and, and, and that is, you know, work it out. You know, go to your parents. They sometimes... You know, parents, go to your children. Discuss things with them. You know, we got to stop sugarcoating it for our children, too. Oh, we keep them in this cocoon, and it's and it's just, oh, we're going to, I'm going to protect you, but I'm going to shelter you at the same time. And with that shelter, you do not know what's going on in the world. Don't shelter your children. Let them explore. Let them, let them uh, see what life is all about. Let them see that life is about what you, what they make it. You know, go make something out of yourself, you know. And that's the thing. We got to stop, you know, as parents. <laughs> Let them learn their own blessings. Move, fly. All right, everybody, it has been a pleasure for me to have a conversation with you today on Let's Talk Sunday. Now, I am going to say I love you and thank you for your love and support of this of this podcast. And if you have any questions, please leave a message in the message board. Okay? I love you. And if you have topics you want me to talk about, we'll talk about them. Okay? Just just leave them in the message board. Just leave them in the message board. Okay, babies? And I will listen attentively. And I will, when I do read your message, and I do it on my podcast, I will go ahead and your name and what your question is. And I will be glad to answer it. And I will give you heads up about what questions will be um will be chosen and who is the, the the person the message is from in the podcast okay babies I want you to have a blessed day and i love you and don't let nobody steal your joy today all right y'all have a blessed day now bye babies